Lobby Tools, Florida's legislative intelligence company. Subscribe today to Florida's leading policy, budget, and campaign tracking service. Request a free trial today at lobbytools.com. One out of five Florida students now vape. High school juniors Peyton Farrington and Lexi Furtis don't, but they say vaping is rampant among their peers. Yeah, yeah probably, probably everyone almost everyone. In just the last year, teen vaping increased by about 50%. There's been a number of suspensions related to it. Andrea Messina with the Florida School Boards Association says policing vaping on campuses is taking a toll on administrators. Nicotine on campus, when we've got uh, tobacco-free zones, creates discipline problems. There's also health concerns. While e-cigarettes are often marketed as a safe alternative to traditional tobacco, recent studies have linked use to seizures in adolescents. It's time for us to step up. That has Florida lawmakers like Senator Bill Montfort taking notice. It comes down to a matter of really a matter of life and death for these young people. Legislation that would raise the age to purchase tobacco and e-cigarettes from 18 to 21 is gaining momentum this year. Mark Landreth with the American Heart Association says raising the age will make it harder for young kids to access the products. If you don't start the tobacco habit or the, the electronic cigarette habit by age 21, you're 90% less likely to start it. The Tobacco 21 Act is moving quickly in the Senate but in the House, it hasn't been scheduled for a single hearing. Just since the start of session, laws to raise the smoking age to 21 have passed in both Washington and Illinois. If the legislation passes here, Florida will be the 11th state to raise the smoking age. In Tallahassee, I'm Jake Stofan.